Alright, so Screw Attacks, Naruto vs. Ichigo has come out, and as usual, they lowballed both of their characters, but since this is a Bleach channel, we're going to be talking about what they got wrong with Ichigo. Pretty much coming down to his speed, strength, and the abilities they had him use. So let's just go ahead and start off with his speed, as that's kind of the main thing I'm sure people are going to have a gripe with. And they said Ichigo is 900,000 miles per hour, which sounds really impressive. It's faster than light. But it's a massive lowball when we're talking about the realm of Manga Ichigo. As Manga Ichigo in just his Shikai should at bare minimum be like 2 times the speed of light. And at maximum be like 10 times the speed of light. So they massively lowballed him there. And then you start stacking on stuff like Holification which is a 10 times buff. They were like, hey man, Holification probably isn't a 10 times buff. Which I, I don't know why or where they would get that. You have a situation like Ichigo fighting Grimjow where in response to Ichigo activating his Holification, Grimjow activates his Resurrection, And they're still like kind of fighting on par with each other. So it's like... Dude, it's like if Ichigo's holification like counters Grimjow's Resurrection, and Resurrection is like a counter to Bankai in the way that like they're all similar stat buffs to one another, it's like how is it not a ten times buff? It makes absolutely no sense to me how they would come to that conclusion. But you stack holification on top of that, and if you know on the low end Ichigo would be like twenty times the speed of light, on the high end he'd be like a hundred times, and then you stack Bankai on top of that, and you start getting to like Ichigo being. 200 times the speed of light to 1,000 times the speed of light. So they massively lowballed the new speed here. And then, of course, we get to strength. They say that he can exert 480 billion megatons of force, which sounds really impressive. But if you convert that to exatons, which is what people use when we're getting into the realm of, like, continental, moon level, and, like, small planet level, you know, feats, it comes out to being, like, 0.46 exatons, which is... Like, kind of, like, lower continental, like, maybe multi-continental. It's, like, in that range of power. And if you guys know, like, if you're big Bleach fans, you know that Bankai Yamamoto is, like, multi-continental. So, end of series Ichigo is only as strong as Bankai Yamamoto. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. Especially because base Yuha looks at Bankai Yamamoto and he's like, yeah, you've gotten weaker since the last time we fought. You know, he's just, he's not having anything with Yamamoto. He's just bored with him. But then he looks at Holified Shikai Ichigo and says he cannot afford to make any mistakes because Ichigo is so powerful at this point. And then Ichigo stacks Bankai on top of his holification and Yuha just destroys his Bankai flat out immediately because he's like, nah, I don't even want to deal with this dude. He's like, your Bankai is a truly terrifying power indeed and just expresses his power towards it and breaks it. So, dude, no, like, bare minimum. Ichigo at the end of the series is planetary, and that's at bare minimum strictly because Yuha, who hit, like, they even doubted that, like, Yuha was planetary, which I was like, okay, we're gonna have some issues here, screw attack, but Yuha is definitely multi-planetary, and Ichigo even being considered a threat to Yuha would be planetary, if that makes sense, right? So moving on to his abilities, this is the final thing that everybody is raving about right now they mention stuff like blute vein and they don't have ichigo use it which honestly that's fine ichigo should not have used blute vein in this fight i probably would have been more upset if he did use it because he hasn't shown any control or mastery over it the thing that a lot of people are really pissed about is the fact that ichigo uses mugets which he should have no business using in his manga form i mean he's gotten the power of mugets in his Shikai, this is stated three times in the series. The first is when Yuha says that he's regained the power he used to defeat Eyes, and the second is that he's Yuha says that Ichigo has regained his original power. And then three, when Ichigo walks into the throne room of Yuha Bak, he is exerting visible Riatsu, which is absolutely ridiculous and it's very similar to what he did in Mugets so my question to you would be why would he even use Mugets in this battle unless they were just trying to deliberately shaft Ichigo in this fight so <sighs> yeah aside from those points there I thought the death battle was fine I mean they did a good job explaining Ichigo's past and explaining his techniques they did a pretty good job and 
you know, I'm not about to say that, that they did everything with Naruto perfect either. There's a lot of stuff with Naruto that they screwed up, lowballing the crap out of him too. But again, this is a Bleach channel, so we're only focusing on what they got wrong with Ichigo. I'm very curious to see what you guys thought in the comments below. So go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like. And if you do want to go watch this, again, just become one of their first members. Like, sign up for a free subscription. It lasts like 30 days. Or you can just go watch somebody live reaction to it. So... Yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice day. Peace. Late.